guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you could be with me today again, guys. I'm so loving you. <laughs> I'm just loving all of your hearts that you're showing on the comments section below and your interaction, guys. I love hearing about your stories. This is an urgent message. Now, I have no idea why it's an urgent message. All I know is that the Divine Masculines are undergoing a huge stuff, right, a huge transformation or something's going on. Um, and as a lot of you know, I channel into certain groups within the collective. I never know um, which ones I'm really tuning into. And today, I've actually done something different, which was how I was guided to do it, which is to um, pre-shuffle on three different decks, okay? So three readings, I should say. There's three different readings, so it's a pick a card, basically. Um, and so what I've done is I've pre-shuffled, as you can see, like this, okay, there's so many cards in these things here, and there's three of those, so I've, I've left these little leaves down here so you can choose, but, oh my god, you know, guys, this is just so bizarre how this message has come through, I've just been sitting at my table here, and I just was feeling it so, like, almost like I'm soaking in the energy of the um, healing, you know, of the collective and what they're going through, uh, the twin flames on both sides. Um, but this is the Divine Masculine's energy wanting to come through so strong with this message. So I've pre-shuffled the cards. It'll be very interesting to see what comes out in each um, reading. And the, the main energy that I feel is that the Divine Masculines are opening up. They're really starting to awaken to um, their feelings. And they're, they're scared of them. They're, they're frustrated. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but they are... Uh, Almost like at a point of surrender, like surrendering to the journey. Um, but obviously we all know that there's fears and different things that can prevent a Divine Masculine from uh, coming forward um, and embracing the union. Um, but it's so bizarre because even I have in the last week had the most, uh, wow, like amazing vivid dreams with my Twin Flame. He's been visiting me in my dreams, um, and there's a lot of unresolved stuff going on in those dreams. A lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of sadness, but a lot of closeness and a peaceful, forgiving type of energy coming through. And we hug each other and kiss. It's just so beautiful. Um, and, you know, I feel like the Divine Masculines on the 5D especially are coming in to really... Um, reassure the divine feminines that they are working on themselves um, and not to give up on the connection so it's not to say that they don't want you to go off on your own and be independent and grow and be strong um, because that's what they encourage you to do but they also want you to know that they haven't given up on the connection even though it seems like they have on the 3d there's things they're going through that they need to um, to help strengthen them uh, their spirit, um, there's karmic lessons they need to wrap up, etc. And they have made these, you know, we all come here with a contract prior to um, incarnating or reincarnating. We all come here with a soul contract and we need to fulfill those for lessons we need to know and learn and grow from. And, um, you know, knowledge is power. So that's what it is here, guys, is your divine masculine's learning his lessons. He's growing and he's really finding it tough. It's really tough. There's a lot of pressure on his shoulders right now in the 3D I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of pressure on his shoulders right now regarding his family ties, his karmic patterns of ties and patterns that he's come in here with, his soul circle. He's questioning those. He's questioning um, if he's in a partnership with a karmic, like a, a, like a romantic uh, partnership, he's questioning the reason of that, um, he's feeling the, like, almost like I'm seeing fabric tearing, you know, if you, if you were to have a piece of fabric and you tear it in half, that's how he's feeling, he is undergoing this with um, his karmic ties in his life, he's feeling that he has to tear himself away from those in order to fulfill his real mission, and he doesn't even really know what that is, he just knows it's a feeling, that he has to um, go a certain way. And it could be that he's feeling drawn and pulled towards the Divine Feminine. Sometimes they might feel like they're being, having to pull themselves away from the Divine Feminine because they are 
it's too intense, too scary, too confronting, um, and they're just not ready to embark on that journey with diving deep, you know, into the connection. Um, but the overwhelming feeling I've gotten today is the deep sadness of the Divine Masculine. What he's feeling right now is so many, a myriad of emotions right now. And they are connecting with you on the 5D. So a lot of you are doing your healing work for your Divine Masculines. This is probably the reading for you. The ones who have been holding your Divine Masculine in light... Um, you know, meditating, meeting him in your dreams, talking to him and trying to coax him through the journey, even on the 5D. Um, if you're talking to him and, and connecting with him and um, if you're aware, if you're an awakened divine feminine where you're aware of the higher purpose of everything and why they need to be doing what they're doing. It's not to say that if they hurt you that they have every right to and you're like, oh yeah, so that's okay, hurt me more, <laughs> hurt me more kind of thing. It's not like you can just accept it for that. If you're hurt, you're allowed to express that, you know, and you're allowed to feel hurt and need to heal and be upset with your divine masculine. But this is also for those of you who are aware um, that there is a mission and your Divine Masculine's on a journey right now of soul-seeking, soul-searching, um, embarking on an awakening right now. So he's undergoing it. This is a Divine Masculine who started to feel the shift. He's starting to feel his whole life around him crumbling and he doesn't know why. Um, and he's questioning the people who are in his life, even his family, what, what, you know, why, what they're about really. Um, why he's even come in to be in this circle. Maybe he feels like the black sheep of the family. Um, he's starting to really wonder why um, things happen for a reason. Um, he's questioning his own life. So it could be his own career path. Um, who he is as a person, everything he's ever really built up for himself and believed in is coming down. It's crumbling. It's that tower moment, which is actually a blessing in disguise. Um, because if anything, he's starting to open his eyes and he's not liking the feelings because it's uncomfortable. Um, but it's like he's reaching out to the divine feminine who is awakened. She, he's kind of like seeking out her light at the moment and is, um even on a subconscious level, really seeks her light, seeks her wisdom and her teaching. And what else am I getting with that? Yeah, he's really seeking healing right now. It's like that surrendering and needing to purge and cleanse. And it's like that uh, butterfly coming out of the cocoon. And some of you might be seeing butterflies like really strong. I don't know why that's coming through as a symbol. Um, but that's significant for some reason for some of you that you're seeing these butterflies, whether it be in physical, you know, in nature, physically seeing them or just wherever. You might see them in drawings or pictures uh, on an advert, whatever it is. There's something about butterflies with the Divine Feminines right now um, that they're seeing, which is a sign from the Divine Masculine that he is transforming. He's going through the major transition right now. Um, and so the Divine Feminines are to remain in that beautiful energy of sending love and light to him and, and working on themselves, okay, healing themselves, raising their vibration is going to help your Divine Masculine to raise his. Um, so it's kind of like you're the light at the end of the tunnel, basically, if he's coming out from that darkness and he sees the light and he's being drawn to it. Kind of like a moth to a flamel, almost, except for he's not going to get hurt by you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, um, he's just really opening his eyes up to that golden light now. Um, so let's get started, guys. I want you to focus on the three leaves in front of you. One, two, or three. And, um, yeah, we'll get started with this reading. Hi, group one. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you chose the beautiful brown leaf, 
We're going to have a look at what's going on, okay, guys, with this, with your divine masculine. What's happening with him? What is this urgent message today? Because, oh, my God, it's just so weird on my heart chakra right now. Ooh, so much stuff going on behind the scenes right now. Okay, what is your divine masculine's current energy? Confusion, puzzled, unsettled, unclear. That's that darkness, okay? He's going through a dark night of the soul. That's what it feels like here. He can't see. He's seeing through uh, a veil of illusion right now. And this is why he might be self-obsessed, egotistical, blame-shifting, narcissistic right now. So he could be really confused, not seeing his own wrongdoing right now. He might be so self-absorbed that he's just not seeing the bigger picture um, but what's interesting here is it shows mirror and he's looking into a mirror as well. It says mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds, introspection. So at the moment, your divine masculine has no choice but to go within and really try and seek out within himself why, where this has stemmed from. Um, he can't see past the clouds outside, okay? He can only see inside this bubble of darkness right now. So really, at the moment, he is all he can look into right now. And he's not liking what he sees. He's not liking it at all. And we do see ego here as well. There's ego um, within him as well. Um, but he's caused his own confusion. He's caused his own darkness and clouds here because of this as well. He hasn't seen the bigger picture. He's only seen it from his side, what's going on here. And he's really struggling right now as well. I feel like you, Divine Feminines, have really mirrored to him all the things he needs to heal. And he has no choice now but to look at himself. He, yeah, how teachable is he? So number nine is the solitude. Okay, so on his own, whilst he's on his own, how teachable is he? Is he too stuck in his ego where he's um, refusing to learn anything and learn the lessons? Because at the moment he's burying his head in the sand um, and he might be being a little bit arrogant and cocky because he is just, you know, I kind of get that, what's that image I'm getting? I'm getting that, that cheeky smirk, but it's like a smart ass, you know, trying to be... Um, scoffing at something but really deep down he's struggling and he doesn't want you seeing or anyone to see how much he's struggling so he puts on a face he puts on this mask um yet when he looks in the mirror he sees his true self and that scares him and he doesn't like what he sees but how teachable is he at the moment you know because at the moment he is in this this energy right here yeah i mean there's a lot of there's a lot of wow Look at this, dark clouds, dark clouds. There's an emotional storm going on within this divine masculine. He has a lot of pent up aggression and anger and he has not allowed himself to vent it in a very um, healthy way. So he's even angry at himself. He is actually someone, and you wouldn't think so with a narcissist, um, not saying that your divine masculine is a narcissist, but this is the narcissistic traits that he's coming into. But on saying this, there is a self-loathing, which I find very interesting. So on one hand, he um, comes across this way. He is in his ego. He does shift blame, but that's, that's the mask, okay? When he's looking in the mirror and how you're reflecting things to him, he does not like what he sees. He wants to remain in confusion um, because he doesn't want to see the truth. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be teachable. <laughs> you know, he doesn't want to be teachable because uh, if someone else comes in and tries to teach him something, like you or the universe, it then just reveals to him all the things that it's um, like it's showing him reality. He wants to live in that illusion right now, and that's what he's doing, is living in an illusion, burying his head in the sand, um, trying to make out that he's okay and everything's fine and everyone it's everyone else's problem. Um, but look, there's a storm warning. So this is what's going on within him. He could, he could be someone that might uh, build up emotion so much and put on this show and, you know, it's like a, maybe for years has been doing this and then finally might explode, okay, that there's an emotional thunder and stuff going on within him and lightning right now. So he's quite angry he's an angry person right now distant horizons this is interesting so you might actually be um sorry about my finger guys i cut it 
Um, you might actually be um, at a distance from each other. There might be an overseas thing going on here or you just are emotionally disconnected. Um, I feel like your divine masculine really feels like he's up in the clouds. He's not grounded. He's not with reality. He wants to remain distant. He has remained distant. And it's to do with this as well, the mystery, okay? So he's a bit of a mystery. He wants to remain a mystery. He wants to be hidden behind these clouds right now. He doesn't want people seeing him for how he truly is and uh, doesn't want to be exposed, okay? Doesn't want to be exposed. Wants to remain a mystery. Wants to perhaps... Um, it's like he's in fantasy land sometimes, like he will, um, he will, it's like he's dreaming of flying. I wonder if he's ever had dreams of flying. I get like astral travel here with this as well, um, with your divine masculine, but it's around communication as well. Now we did have a number here. I wanted to see it 52, seven. So yes, it's all about illusions and fantasies. Um, and it's about what choice, what pathway is he going to go down here? That kind of reminds me of the Libran um, sign here, on this sign here. Kind of reminds me of um, Libra, like balancing too, like making choices. Which choice is he going to take? Uh, which direction is he going to travel in? When it comes to communication, communication could be very distant between the two of you. 41 is the five, so it's talking about his values. How is he going to communicate? I feel like he might only communicate in small words, like he might not be very talkative, he might not be very open. It might be if he is in communication with you, could be just like a two-word like a two -word answer or something in a text message or how he talks. It's just like he is just not talkative. He's so closed off. But we see the gossip card here too. We see... Um, birds so it looks to me like you know there's a lot that he could say and wants to say but it's all it's all closed off okay it's all closed off here he's being stubborn and there's social media phone calls stuff like this so it could be if you are in contact with each other it's very shallow stuff it's very light stuff it's just day-to-day -day conversations um, but for some of you there's no communication at all and that's what this is showing here is that um, both of you really are talking from a distance, astral travel, telepathy, that kind of thing going on here. Um, he's carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders right here. And it's interesting I just said that because the number 21 is the world in the tarot. So he's definitely carrying the, the world on his shoulders right now. He, and it's his own stuff that he's not allowing. It's because of like how teachable are you? He's, he's not allowing anyone to show him or guide him or tell him a certain way to um, help him to get out of this, okay? He's learning the hard way. And it's really at a point where something's going to explode within him soon. Like it might be an outburst, emotional outburst. Um, he might just take off. He might be someone that just slams doors or walks out really fast out of the house without a word. Like it just seems to me like he just does not deal very well. He he might have a very quick temper or quick to temper, um, but he's holding a lot on his shoulders right now and he's caving in. But he's, he's very strong willed, which is, you know, also that stubbornness. Um, and he's, yeah, look, number 13 is the devil, uh, is the death card, I should say. All about transition, guys. Transformation, as I spoke about in the intro. Um, so he is very stubborn that he's not going to change right now. See how she's wearing a mask? Interesting. So he's very stubborn right now that he's going to do things his own way. It's his way or the highway type thing. Um, even if it means that he's going to carry all this stuff, okay? And uh, it's kind of like being a bit of a martyr or something, I think. But it's almost like he comes out looking like he's the victim. You know, he's also coming out looking like he's... Um, What's that thing that's in there? Looks like tentacles. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's like he is pissed off, right? He's pissed off that he has to carry this. But at the same time, it's like he's just, he's got a choice to let it go. He's got a choice to learn some lessons and let this karmic baggage go. But he's being strong-willed and being, re and re uh, what am I saying, being, being resistant being stubborn 
People have tried talking to him. This is what this communication is too. Maybe you, the divine feminists, have tried to show him a way, tried to tell tell him um, something about that, you know. Um, it's like you've been trying to reach out to him and help him and ennoble, ennoble your soul. So what is he doing? Is he sticking to his values? It looks like he's going against everything he's really believed, you know, and, and um, trusted in, I'm hearing. So he's even closed off to you. And I feel like um, he's on the verge of, I don't know if it's a mental breakdown or just on the verge of like this storm, right? You know how the storm is brewing type thing and it takes some time to actually um, come about where there's thunder and lightning and then rain and it's like this outburst. And I feel like he at the moment is just still swirling around his emotions um, and it's chaotic and it's turbulence but it's not necessarily raining where the cleansing and purifying comes in. So it's like um, he really needs that to occur. And we've got a 10 here and a 10 here, which is the destiny card, the wheel of fortune. So things could turn very quickly in different ways. It's very unpredictable, like a storm can be, or a, a tornado here thing that we can see there. He needs to rest. The Holy Spirit is coming in to try and help him to find peace in his soul, to rest his spirit, because this is so uh, much torment and turmoil going on emotionally. He needs to rest. He needs to rest. Um, what's that I see in there? These are the beautiful cards Nick got me. So 24 too, which is the six, which is all about the lovers too. But it's about self-love and healing, I feel. And we've got the peace dove. We've also got the strength of the elk. So it's stamina. And I feel like your person, um, your divine masculine, needs to rest his soul his soul needs rest right now he's been through a lot in his life karmically even in his past lives okay in his past lives look at all the stuff he's carrying and he's being stubborn and not letting it go because he feels like it's his duty to take on everyone's issues um so no wonder he's feeling like a mess right now as well so in his shadow self he's feeling depressed He's, there's this gossip. This is so weird. So we've got birds say, it says gossip, gossip, communication, boss, gossip. So it feels like to me, uh, what's this saying? I want to know what that is. Disrespectful. So maybe in his communication, he's come across as really disrespectful because he is depressed and he's not coming from a really nice place and biased. So he only sees things perhaps from his own point of view. Um, he wants to say to you, guilt, hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. And his shadow self says, I miss you so much right now. So in his time of cocooning himself off, and it might seem really like he's just shutting everyone else out and he doesn't give a shit. But in this space, he really is undergoing so much darkness and mental anxiety, emotional anxiety, um, that he really is on a subconscious level, even in the 5D, reaching out to you, uh, communicating telepathically. Dreams are very strong between the two of you right now. I really feel like he's uh, struggling. Yeah, very much so. His, his soul needs rest. Um, so he's missing you. His higher self says, my motives are sincere. Please see beyond my struggles. I'm trying my best. So, you know, everything that he has tried, like that nice, beautiful side that you've seen of him was the truth. It was genuine. It was sincere. Um, this is the shadow side he's in right now. Okay. Alignment, triple eight. You are on the path of light. So if you see eights everywhere, eight, 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 this is a significant message for you guys that you are aligning, okay, on the path of light. Uh, what did we see for other numbers here? Just having a look if there's any others. We've got the three and the six here, which is the nine. So it's a, a solo journey. Um, and I know that this is once in a lifetime love. No one will ever compare to you. You're so amazing. It's intimidating. Yeah, he's intimidated by you, Divine Feminine, because you're awakened and you're vibrating at that higher frequency and he feels ashamed for who he is right now and where he's at on his journey if i could stay i would so he could be traveling or living a fair distance away from you <clears throat> and he's concentrating very very hard on something in his life right now um 
And also it, it requires a lot of effort on his behalf to come out of this space right now and he's feeling really like he just doesn't have the power to or the knowledge how, on how to or even the courage to come out and face you. Um, yeah, because he's just exhausted in this journey. He's confused. He feels like he's just like defeated and he feels bad he feels really bad for how things went he's got a lot of guilt he's carrying part of this burden is guilt so he's concentrating on um maybe working on his finances right now there's something he's trying to pick himself up with but he also sees that you're like this divine feminine that you are very independent he puts you up on a pedestal, which is what this is. You're so amazing. It's intimidating. So he sees that you are making it in the world, that you're strong and vibrant, maybe getting your life in order, your career in order. And he feels like he's crumbling away and um, doesn't have much to offer or give. But, you know, he wants to come into this empowered energy. He wants to be empowered. That's a huge thing right now. He feels... What's that word? Demasculated? Is it demasculated? I think, or emasculated? I can't remember now, but it's, it's not feeling like he's a, a strong masculine. And he wants to be balanced. Um, he knows that his choices are really um, important. He knows that he needs to choose compassion. So his higher self, or even his 3D self, may know that he needs to choose this. Um, but he's being guided by his higher self, by your higher self to come in and choose compassion for his own condition right now. He wants to talk. Funny how we've had communication, communication or something else I think here, but there's commun communication. He wants to really come forward and communicate with you. Um, he says, I'm working on my abundance right now. So that's that nine of pentacles also. So he might be really just getting stuck into his career, um, his money, his life, um, getting himself grounded. He, he just cannot deal with emotional stuff right now. So surrender to the lessons. It's something he's starting to learn. Oh my God, we've got the butterflies here. Transition, transformation. Um, sad divine feminine. Look at this. He's surrendering to the lessons or he's going to regarding how sad you have been and what he has done to cause this sadness. He wants you to be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. So this is your guidance card. Black bear, guardian, gentle and wise protector. Give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. So this is your special medicine, divine feminines, for this time. Um, knowing that you are able to be a wise protector. And asking that this medicine and your higher self can come in and protect this connection and your divine masculine with your love and awaken your intuition to guide this okay and so this is your special message also playfulness is a spiritual power laughter leads me back to the light maybe some of you have lost your sense of humor or your spark and your playful energy you know and it's about getting back to that our Lady of um, Guadalupe, I think it says, the Empress of Protection. I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times. This um, journey has really been a roller coaster ride for you emotionally. And so, because your divine masculine has just gone right down, you've gone right down with him. But it feels like to me, you've picked yourself up, you've removed yourself from it. Um, but you might be at a bit of a loss as to how to bring him out of this. And this is what this is saying. Shine your light. Know that you're protected. Call in your uh, spirit guides and helpers to come through and to give you this courage and strength as well. Come into your playful, lighter energy. And he wants to say, you feel like a warm home to me. So, yeah, I mean, he misses that warmth and... and yeah, he doesn't feel like he's worthy of you right now, but look, I'll keep you warm. So it's like you feel like a warm home to him, but he'll keep you warm. So there's something about warmth that he's really missing right now. And walk with me into destiny. That is amazing. So just, all right, let's have a look. I just want to get a rock here, like a river stone for you guys. This is just amazing. Um...
So it says wealth. So wealth and focus on wealth. So what this could be is that both of you need to focus on your own material world right now. But a, the wealth, wealth can be anything. Wealth can be an abundance of health, an abundance of love, an abundance of money. It could be anything right now. So whatever wealth means to you, focus more on that, okay? Because I feel like that's going to help um, your Divine Masculine too. I think with everything is energy. And if you're focused... If you're focused on the negatives and if you're really being drawn into this pain and everything that he's undergoing right now, because you will feel it. Um, but if you're focused on that and if you're at a loss and you're feeling disencouraged or disempowered in this, then it may be that um, because he's feeling that as well, that it's really hard for him to sort of come out of that. But if he sees or feels that you are getting on with your life and you're getting strong and you're becoming like enlivened and you're warm and you're happy and you're vibrating at a very high frequency and you're you're going to heal that situation by doing that even on a very subconscious level the 5d level he's going to pick up on this energy okay um <clears throat> yeah so just want to get some charms reading number one So we've got beer. So your divine masculine might be drinking in his in his sadness right now. He might like beer. We've got a little pussy cat here. So it's it's also about protection. Cats can be, or someone might own one. Protection with a turquoise right here as well, guys. This is the throat chakra. Communication. You both want to talk to each other. And we've got the little apple here. So this is interesting. So someone might like an apple. Um, but I'm getting that um, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So it could be a health sign here that... Um... Oh, now there's something that came to mind just then. And I don't know where I found this now. or It's just come to mind right now. Is when something about partners, romance, if you cut up an apple and share it together, it's supposed to be a sign of love or something. Um, we've got the turtle. So how cute. So it does show that there's delays and it's a slow journey. Um, but it does look like a wish can come true and it says just for you a wish coming true just for you um, He sees that you are a star shining in the sky That's what he sees There's wisdom coming into this connection. So he might come into some wisdom. That's really awesome or you could um, The tree of life. So it's all about that things are growing and blossoming and this journey is um, I feel protected and we, yeah, look, we got the dragon, which is all about protection again. So the dragon, where's his little head here? Yeah, the dragon is all about protection. So this is amazing. This word's come up quite a few times. He's going to cut ties to something he no longer needs, um, which is really awesome. And then we have the sun, which is all positive. So it's, it's showing happiness in this connection. And there's a strong faith here, perhaps in Christianity, um, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, there's a very strong faith here. So someone might be praying. You might be praying for your divine masculine right now to overcome this storm, this emotional darkness that he's in. Let's get some letters. So we've got a, we've got a, what is that one? An N, an O, a B, an O. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, we've got, no, I don't know if that is an N. I think it's a Z. We've got a Z, W, O, J, T, and B, okay? So it could be as an N or a Z, however you want to take it. Oh, it's just funny how I saw the word town, T-O-N, T-O-W-N. So it could be that you live in the same town um, or there's something about a particular city or town that they live in. BJ, for some reason BJ is coming up, could be a, an initials or someone's name. Um... Bow, B-O-W, someone might play a violin or wear a bow tie or something. I don't know what this is about. Um, yeah, it's all I could really see here, really. But please let me know if that resonates in any way, guys. I hope this reading's given you some clarity today. Your Divine Masculine really wanted to let you know this stuff today. So I hope that's helped you, and I look forward to connecting with you guys next time. Love and blessings. Hi group two, welcome guys, this is your reading with the green leaf, how beautiful. Let's have a look at what's going on with your Divine Masculine's current energy. 
Well, he's exhausted. He's been on a long journey. He's depleted. He's fatigued right now. He's just, maybe this is a lifetime of stuff or it's karmic stuff. I feel like it's karmic stuff going on for him. Oh yeah, there's a lot of karmic ties he's been having um, this journey with. There might be that he's in a very casual, light-hearted type of energy, wants to go out partying all the time, um, just isn't taking life too seriously. But interestingly enough, um, I don't feel like it's fulfilling him in any way. What he perhaps really wants is a stability and security, permanence, growth, endurance and flexibility. I feel like perhaps after an exhaust, an, um, what am I saying, exhaustion, after this long journey of just feeling depleted and thirst, you know, he's got like a thirst for life, a thirst to go out and live, um, it feels to me like he just maybe has come out of something that's kept him um, tied down for so long that he just wants to break free and have some fun. Um, but he wants stability, he wants security. Yeah, he's going to be the phoenix rising. Look at this. So there's something that he's had to crash and burn with. Something had to crash and burn in his life. And it's, this reminds me of the Ten of Wands, where he's just carrying such a burden on his shoulders right now that all he wants to do is go off and have fun. Maybe he's having a little bit too much fun, you know, but it's not fulfilling him in any real way. Maybe temporarily. Um, but deep down, what he needs is some strong roots right now. He needs to be grounded in his life. Um, he needs that growth and permanence. Um, but he, yeah, something's happening here. Look at this. He's been in despair. We've got two 32s. Look at this. 32, 32. 33, 22, right? Threes and twos. Very interesting numbers. He has been in despair. And he feels very, um heartbroken maybe there was some issue with the partying stuff here maybe he was off and being kind of like a free spirit and just going to wherever he wanted to go and there was no real um grounded energy here he wasn't going back to his roots and maybe his roots is with you you know this is where it goes like he has grown something with you he planted the seed with you um but it feels to me like He's maybe not ready to jump into anything serious right now because he's had a long, long journey here of something or other karmic ties just wearing him down, wearing him out to the point where he just needs things to be light-hearted. Um, he's indecisive about what path to take. He doesn't know where he's going right now. All he knows is that he needs to pick himself up and rise again and come out from this despair and he feels restricted in life maybe this is a rebellious act right here too we've got number 35 which is the eight so we've got two eights right here next to each other which is the strength card in the tarot um, so he's trying to be really strong in making his own choice here maybe in the past people have dictated to him how he has to be um, but he feels restricted about going down a certain pathway. See, there's a pathway here and there's pathways here. So he's feeling very restricted about which pathway he can choose to go down. Um, yeah, there's, there's the sun, though, coming through, which is positive. And it's a masculine energy. So there's going to be light on a situation for him. And creation, 39. So that's um, 12. So that's the, what's that one? The, the hanged man so it looks to me like he's really going to be sitting back really reflecting on where he, what his life purpose is what he's meant to create on this journey with you yeah there's an epiphany coming to yours so he has a depth about him you wouldn't normally I don't feel this is his full energy okay if he has been in this kind of energy where he's been partying all the time or um, just I don't know, socializing so much with people and just not being grounded and settling down in one space. It could be just a distraction that he's trying to to do that with because I feel like he's got a very strong and a very deep soul. Um, and yeah, but he's he's going through a transition. He's breaking free. Like it's almost like he's shedding an old skin. He This is a past chapter right here he's come out from. 
And it could be that he's had people in his life that have um, that he thought once again, as I said in the intro, that he has felt that he has to be around. Like it could be his family, his sole family. Um, it could be friendships. There's or relationships. There's karmic ties that he's shedding his old skin now from. So it's like he's moving away from them. He's finding his true self. He's rising. Um, and it's, it's a sad thing for him to do. He doesn't want to have to leave people behind, but he knows he has to because they're no good for him anymore. So this is why there's a restriction in the decision. Does he go towards you or does he go another way and, and stay where he's meant to and learn some more lessons here? Sunlight's coming in on this. It's being illumined. Now we see the relief anxiety. He has extreme anxiety about who it's almost like he has to make a choice who do i go to who do i remain loyal to and that's where this despair is coming through um so we do see the 26 so once again a number eight so 888 is very significant in your connection interesting yeah so he's got to relate relieve anxiety and i feel like he's seeking out the divine feminine's light so and for some reason, it's funny because I am seeing him drinking here. I do see some divine masculines feeling so hungover and they're just losing themselves in that. You know, it's a phase they're going through. They're feeling really down and out, uh, feeling lost. They're trying to seek who they are, find themselves. Um, and it's that transition stage between this um, exhaustion and just you know, falling down in a heap and, and exhausted and fatigued and everything and just having like your whole energy gone. Every, someone's been sucking his energy and then, you know, that's between that and then the phoenix rising. So at the moment he's down and out, possibly drinking um, or in some kind of energy where it feels like he's just drunk um, and he's not really thinking clearly and he's not able to see just yet. All he knows is that he feels lost, he feels despair, he's worried he's made wrong choices he doesn't know what to do or which pathway to go down next. Um, yeah, he's got to try and find balance in himself right now. And see that we've got the present and the love heart. How cute. So it's about him being able to give and receive equally. Um, and I think that this whole journey he's been on has taught him about that balance of giving and receiving. Um, maybe you gave more to him in this situation. And he's now starting to realize and look at himself like, um, what his choices, once again, I keep going back to this, have caused, you know, his despair, the consequences of his choices, um, not having that balance. And it's kind of like he felt it was a damned if I do, damned if I don't. So for some of them, they might have been choosing between family and you or a karmic partner and you. It's kind of like this feeling that he was stuck, um, but he's coming out of that now. What's his shadow side? Jealousy. Jealousy. Antagonistic. Oh, he's done some stuff here to try and get you jealous. Deception, or he might be jealous. And rebellious. So that's that energy right there. I feel there's rebellion going on but he could be rebelling against family once again there's something he's cutting ties with that no longer suits him anymore or serves him um but he has been jealous and he has acted in he has acted out in ways that is really um damaging to the connection with you because there has been this antagonistic energy trying to get you jealous but he's also been jealous so it's um, maybe you've been with someone and he's been jealous of that. So he's gone off and acted like ca ca carelessly and callously with other people. Um, there's deception here, but he's rebellious. So that's the shadow self, shadow self coming through. But in the very near future, right, he sees that he wants to plan with you. I know that I want you in my future. I am working on making the proper plans. So it feels like to me... His higher self is telling you that he's in a funk right now. He's undergoing this crap right now. I still I smell old, like old alcohol, like one a day old alcohol smell on him. <laughs> so it's like he's um, drunk or really in a bad state, where his hair's his hair is dishevelled and it's kind of like maybe unshaven or something like this. It just feels like he's just not coping right now. Um, he might be in survival mode or something's going on, but he's just not on his feet just yet 
He might have been abandoned or um, thrown out of a situation right now. But I just feel like for him, he is undergoing huge stuff right now because he has to make a decision. His shadow self wants to say to you, I've withdrawn because I feel numb inside. So he's not feeling like he's in, t uh, in tune or tapping into his own beautiful soul that he is. He's stuck and in these, in these um, shadow sides here. But I do love the sun coming through because it's illuminating to him all the things, all these things inside him that he doesn't like to see. And he's trying to find balance now and relieve his anxiety over this because I feel like he, once again, feels like he has made a wrong decision um, or that he can't, there's a block in the road, he can't come to you. His higher self says, I have gained wisdom from my mistakes. So he has, he's realizing that he has made mistakes. Um... And it's funny how I see the restriction to the pathway too. It kind of makes me feel like it's a no-go zone. So maybe he did choose a no-go zone. Like maybe he did, you know, stray off the path that he was on with you. Um, and has rebelled in that way. And there was deception with this. And maybe he was just trying to get you jealous, but it caused so much more issues than just that, you know, mind-playing game or whatever. Um, that's only for some of you are going to resonate with that. Others of you, it's just going to be another message regarding decisions that he has to make. Feeling like there's obstacles in his way that he just cannot choose. He's, he knows he's had to choose between this path or you. Um, and he says, our souls already know each other, don't they? He whispered. It's our bodies that are new. So it's like he knows you. He knows your soul. Um, and he... he he recognizes maybe on a deep subconscious level or definitely his 5d self acknowledges that you've had many lifetimes together he's exhausted okay from all the lifetimes but no other can hold a candle to you you're all i've ever wanted and more these are the beautiful charming oracle love messages from sarah too um so yeah absolutely like he he knows that you are the person he wanted to choose he wants to choose you but he feels like he's obligated or has been obligated in some other area of his life right now that he's never been able to be himself with them, you know, with that soul, first, soul family circle or whoever it is, that pathway he's been on. He hasn't been authentic to himself. Um, yeah, so you are lovely from head to toe. Yeah, he absolutely adores you. It's funny how we, he wants to really get to know your body as well, but he just loves you and admires you. Um, I just want to make love to you somewhere safe and warm. Tell you all my secrets and dreams. I fall asleep and fall asleep in each other's arms. So he's really, really feeling lost without your physical presence. Yeah, he looks up to you, Divine Feminine. He sees your beauty and your worth, your value. He sees your independence. He puts you up on a pedestal. He sees that you're so um, someone to be admired, that you're standing strong and confident in your path. And this is the energy he wants to come into is the king of swords where he has this higher wisdom. See, we do see I have gained wisdom from my mistakes. This is the wisdom he wants to come into, but is coming into because he is the phoenix rising right here. So he's going to see the bigger picture. He wants to uh, communicate with you on an emotionally um, mature level. He wants to be assertive and tell you what it is that he wants with you because he's been skirting around the issue for some time now um, and possibly um, never given you straight answers. He wants to come in very strong with affection and also... He recognizes that you've been mirroring each other, but you have been a mirror to him. You have reflected to him all the things he needs to heal. And that's also been where this despair has come from as well, because you're teaching him to break free from things that don't serve him. Things that like these patterns, karmic ties um, that have been affecting him and this connection, his self-esteem. Now, this is a, I don't know where this is coming from, but it's a significant message for some of you. 
that your divine masculine has major father fatherly issues there's healing to do with his father here um and some of them might have had a father that left when they were very young or had passed away like just an absent father um but there's definite fatherly issues here your your divine masculine has always tried to follow um, and like kind of like um, either follow in his father's footsteps to be a certain way his father has wanted him and needed him and you know pretty much demanded or expected him to be or um, he has um, felt like he had to be like to win that approval constantly from his father um, that he had to be a certain way and that's why he feels lost that he's never really known himself because he's always tried to appease someone else's expectations of him um, whether that be a father or a strong parent it's a strong parent father or mother but um, I do feel father more so but it's that real masculine energy that someone in his life has been very strong um, and dictating to him how he has to be and that he's got to be ob obligated and responsible for family um, for the family so it's almost like he's had huge um, burdens on his shoulders regarding his family um, of how he has to be and if he did have a father that was gone it's like his mother made him have to be like the man of the house type thing where he had so many responsibilities and he just can't and never has been able to break free from that um, from those ties from those responsibilities and burdens and that might be why the restrictions here as well is that he's wanted to venture off from that he's sick and tired of being feeling like he's held under a thumb and oppressed or suppressed and needs to really get creative and find himself and venture out and branch out now that's just a very significant message but some of them have also been on such an exhausting journey with a karmic partner who's also played that kind of role as well manipulative um, you know trying to um, dictate to them how they need to be try to mold them into something but I tell you if your divine masculine has had a father like that or a strong parent some kind of family tie where it's been really dysfunctional and there's been a lot of healing needed he may have actually branched out from the family home and jumped straight into a karmic cycle or a romantic relationship with someone who mirrored to him the same kinds of things that his parents taught him because he has to heal and break that cycle once and for all so that karmic partner might have been triggering all these things within him that he needs to heal regarding abandonment issues or issues where he's had to try and really just come into his own and be strong and assertive like he wants to be here so it's interesting that's coming through there's an Aquarius energy right there too um, so yeah I mean your divine masculine is really trying to find himself that might be why he's just gone a bit haywire right here so be the best you can be he's telling you that he wants you to be the best you can be he feels like you're too good for him right now be the best you can be go off and live yourself no live um, your life you know be good to yourself um, I regret how I handled the situation with you I was really immature so he understands that and sacral chakra water write down your deepest feelings I feel like he's trying to pen down something to you right now he might be trying to sit down and, and write you a text or an email something that is um, coming from the heart space as well true feelings playful energy so once again it really shows me this he needs something that's light and playful right now um, blossoming you are just getting started this is what he's saying to you so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up he sees that you're really making it in the world elk nobility celebrate your accomplishments with humility you are crowned with success powerful forces guide you your ability to conquer challenges is limitless you are strong divine feminine he really looks up to you and I feel like he's drawn to this strength within you also this one says Queen Esther the morning star my ego is in service of my soul and I trust my soul's divine timing so you're strong in your power divine feminines knowing that things are going to fall into place when they're meant to um, lady of the lotus born embodiment is the deepest bliss my body was made for enlightenment so I feel like for divine feminines they've got to dance and they've got to just be free in their bodies and love their bodies right now my love for you is without bound 
and I'll chase you down. Please don't leave me. Look at that. So let's get a river stone. So passion. Your divine masculine has extreme passion for you. He doesn't feel good enough for you yet, okay? Let's get some charms. But he sees how beautiful you are. Group two. Oh, you have a very strong bond that cannot be broken, guys. And also you've got the ca cancer energy, imaginative. So that's home and family. Someone's focusing on their wealth right now. Money, money, money. And... We have the Pisces energy, very watery energy going on here. So intuitive. So your person's intuitive and they're also um, imaginative. We've got someone might be seeing in black and white or there could be an African kind of theme going on here as well. Your person might want to travel. We've got the Aries, bold Aries coming through. We've got the key to your heart. Okay, that's beautiful. So I feel like your person wants to open the door to this right now. Uh, Sagittarius, absolutely gorgeous. And we've got the seahorse. Your person wants monogamy. They've gone off and had their fun. They want to come in now and, and really be with you on a committed relationship with you. And, and they want to also help take the responsibilities, um, like share the responsibilities with you, not put it all on to you. Okay. So we've got an N. Yeah, that's an N, an R, a K, an M. A Q U O and C. So first word I saw was corn. Someone might love eating corn. Um, or is there Cornish? I don't even know now. Um, R O C K. Someone is, you are their strong rock, divine feminine. And someone might love rock and roll music too. Um, what else have I got? Mourn, M-O-U-R-N, your person's mourning for you. He's mourning for you. Also mourn as in mourning, someone might be a mourning person. Um, but please take those, write them down if you can think of any other words that are coming through. Oh, I've got R-U-O-K, wow, you know that R-U-O-K day or something? R-U-O-K, that could be something to to extend your hand out with to your divine masculine right now we might be asking you that guys so i really hope that's helped you today guys and um yeah it looks like your divine masculine's undergoing a lot right now a lot of burdens but he's going to come out of that it looks like just keep praying for him hold him in light and um see what happens guys so i look forward to connecting with you guys next time love and blessings Hi, group three. If you chose this reading number three, which is a beautiful red brown uh, leaf right here, we're going to have a look at what's going on with your person, your divine masculine. What is happening with him? What current energy is he in right now? What does he want you to know? Well, he's feeling misunderstood right now. He's a lost soul, maybe feeling like a victim because of mistakes that have been made. Um, see the dark clouds here? So it's kind of gloomy. He's feeling like something hasn't been cleared, like the air has not been cleared between the two of you. Maybe it's just sitting there right now. Um, but this has left him feeling blank, speechless, lifeless and numb. Maybe there's no uh, communication or there's issues with communication going on right now. It does say he's speechless, so he's not speaking. He's feeling misunderstood. Maybe he's been shut out. Um, but he feels alone in this right now. Uh, he is in victim mode. Yeah, he's heartbroken. So deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving or mourning. Your divine masculine's in a really sad place right now, feeling misunderstood, maybe not just from you, but from the world, feeling like people just misunderstand him constantly. They don't get him. He feels like he can't really connect with people. Maybe he's a little bit antisocial right now, um, but just very withdrawn at the moment. That's for sure right now, feeling numb inside. Um, maybe he really is going to the beach right now on his own as well and just looking out into the horizon you know looking out into the horizon and just really trying to seek out who he is and why this is the way it is right now 
But yeah, I mean, it's he's procrastinating in this space. He's just not doing anything. He's not healing. He's not coming forward and trying to resolve the issue. He's just procrastinating. We've got the number eight here too, which means he's trying to find strength in this space right here. Um, but at the same time, it's just like he's trying to find clarity. He's not getting it right now. And that's causing him to procrastinate right now. Um, I feel like he's questioning loyalty. He's questioning other people's loyalty. He's been heartbroken many times in his life and there's a certain pattern he's repeating. And it could be that he's also hurting other people, but I feel like at the end of it, he is internalizing. He's feeling like this is his pain um, and he doesn't understand maybe why he hurts people. Um, so he's feeling misunderstood by others, but I feel like sometimes he doesn't really understand himself. Yeah, he's feeling imprisoned. We've got the 29, which is the 11, so x 2 and 9 equals 11. Um, and that's the uh, Justice card in the Tarot, which is interesting. It's kind of like talking about, well, we see the prison here. It's kind of like that legal law kind of thing. Um, but what I see with your Divine Masculine is he's feeling like he's imprisoned, but he's really put himself in there. He's hiding away, feeling trapped in, um, numb, feeling like people are eating, like something's eating away at him. See the, the robber mouse here? Something's eating away at your Divine Masculine. Um, and he's locked himself away somewhere. So he could literally be right now locking himself away in a room. Um, just shutting everyone else out around him right now. Yeah, yin yang. Look at this, number 22, reversed. So there's no balance in his yin and his yang. The feminine, feminine and masculine energies within him are not balanced right now. He's feeling perhaps imbalanced without the feminine in his life right now, without you as well in his life. Um, because it feels like he's shutting everyone out, even you. Um, so even if you're not in any communication, you might be feeling this, that he's really in a dark place, shutting himself away from everything and everyone, um, and kind of like in the corner, wounded, um, in a fetal position, crying, you know, that's how I see him, like he's really heartbroken, doesn't understand why things have occurred the way they are in life, why he keeps failing, um, let's see what she's holding there. Oh, yeah, I just was drawn to her necklace for some reason. But there's nothing that I can really see on that right now. Um, he's got, see how those books behind her? I was just looking at the eyeballs in that jar. That's pretty creepy. But anyway, um, we've got the books behind her. He has the knowledge. He can actually seek it out. Um, there's plenty of self-help books out there. You know, if he doesn't want to talk to a counselor or talk to friends or anyone, there's, there's many ways to be able to reach out and try and find some relief of the burden of pain. Um, and I just feel like he's closing his back to that. He's turning his back away to that as well. He doesn't want to know anything. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to, um, he, yeah, he's in victim mode. Okay. He's in victim mode imprisoning himself in, um, not really in the space of mind right now to be able to just pick up something and read it and really absorb it and take it in. I feel like your Divine Masculine is not really ready yet to face things. Yeah, there's an inner child aspect here. So he's got an inner child to deal with. He's, he's got a, his inner child to heal. He's wounded funny we've got the jack of spades so someone's name could be jack doesn't have to be but that's just something there the 22 is the master builder he's not building on himself right now and the b is creative it's luck it's industriousness sweet victory so 16 is also the tower card in the tarot i'm pretty sure it is I always get the 15 and 16 mixed up but I'm pretty sure it is a tarot i mean the tower so in this time he could be getting creative around this um within this space of having everything crumbling around him he could see it and he could try and turn his perspective around and see that it's actually a good thing at the moment that he is um you know not that it's good that he's in this space but whilst he's in this space he could use it for the good he could um really find himself you know he could really look within and, and seek out the answers within himself but he's choosing to, to just hide away and be in victim mode 
be imbalanced. You know, inner, inner child issues are coming up for him that's giving him an opportunity to really reflect and examine them. Um, and the busy bee, you know, getting busy. He needs to get busy um, at working on his inner child right here. Um, and there's good luck around him. So he can actually... Um, there's opportunities opening up for your divine masculine. There's no, new pathways, but he's not seeing them. He's got the opportunity for a fresh beginning, but he's not seeing it. He's hiding away. And there's boundaries here. So, so funny how um, she's kind of like in this bubble here. And that's how I see your divine masculine is in like he's cocooned himself in a bubble, but he's trapped himself in. So there's boundaries around him right now that he cannot get out of. Um, he's really cocooned himself in quite tightly there and um, he's the only one that can get himself out of it though you know and we do see the 12 which is the hanged man in the tarot which is all about pausing and reflecting taking time to just wait it's it's taking time to look within at the answer getting that epiphany that you need um, and changing your perspective on something and he's not doing that He's only, he's only seeing it one way right now. He's not opening his mind. Um, but that's what he's trying to let you know, okay? This is the urgent message today is that he wants you to know that he's in this space, that he can't just suddenly come out of it. He just can't snap his fingers and come out of it. Yeah, he's going to experience a rebirth. Look at this. So there is a, wow, so he is definitely in that cocoon stage, you know how in the intro I think it was that I mentioned the butterfly, I'm pretty sure I did in the intro say something about a butterfly and the transition stage and he's really in that dark place right now being a caterpillar, just painfully turning and slowly turning into this butterfly but not realizing right now that, you know, to have a rebirth is just absolutely a beautiful thing, he's going to come out much freer and healed and um seeing the blessings in life and seeing life in a fresh way like a fresh perspective seeing you and this relationship through new eyes um and that's what that here is as well the number 12 so yeah look intuition in a child and um it's interesting too we got like a bubble here like a crystal ball or a bubble there's a bubble here he's really encasing himself in this right now yeah wow it's interesting that so his inner child is in absolute need of healing he might have had some very um childhood trauma there might have been some real issues where he was abandoned uh, or misunderstood as it says here because this seems to be a trigger point for your divine masculine where he feels misunderstood um and it could be misunderstood by you as well and maybe why he's not budging or taking action because he might be procrastinating he might be just like punishing himself punishing others and it's kind of like the naughty boy in the corner isn't it like with a child like he's been put into the corner to think about his issues and to think about what he's done wrong type thing and that's how yeah look he's internalizing so this is the inner child. What do children do when they're um, in the bad books, basically? They go within and they internalize about how bad they are um, and why they're not good enough for something. And they'll only um, get rewarded if they do something the right way, you know. So that's how I feel like he feels that he's misunderstood, like he just can't seem to fit in, he can't seem to do things right, he, you know, he's just feeling lost, he's feeling conflicted. This is his shadow self. And he's holding himself hostage. He might also feel that other people are holding him hostage. See, it's funny how we got held hostage and then the imprisonment here. So he's really feeling trapped in, um, maybe in a relationship or within himself, his own um, self-limiting beliefs, mountain. Something or someone is between us right now, is standing between us right now. Wow. So... That something could be his own inability to see things in a different perspective. It could be his inability to be flexible. Uh, it could actually literally be someone else in the way, like a karmic partner. Um, but there's something that's really standing strong, and I feel like it's his. It is his. Um, it's like a scary, looming, dark shadow of his. 
okay? That's also standing in the way. It's that pain. It's that abandonment issue. It's that self-internalizing. It's his fears. Um, big happy changes are coming when you least expect it. So I feel like that is his higher self coming in with a message saying that all is not lost. This is a phase, okay? It's a phase. He's going through metamorphosis. What is it? A metamorphosis or something. He's going through that right now. He's changing. He's transitioning. It takes time. It's a process. Um, but it feels to me like he is going to learn some things in this space about himself. He needs to hit rock bottom um, to be able to realize his strength. So his shadow self says, I feel like I failed. This is where he's internalizing and feeling horrible about himself because he has always felt like he has had to be the best at everything he's got to do. Maybe his parents or teachers or anyone he's looked up to in life has made him feel like he's got to be the best. And if he's not the best, then he's a failure. So he says his higher self says, I wish I could be with you. He really misses you. He... Um, in this space thinks about you a lot and it says here I kept my feelings for you a secret because I was afraid of being judged you were my best kept secret so he may not have come forward and let you know or anyone else know how much he really feels for you don't hold back jump in and give to me all of you set the pace so I can too so he's feeling really stuck and like he just can't snap his fingers and venture out towards you and be strong and all those things. He feels like in some way he's wishing that you would just come after him and pull him out of it, you know. Um, sometimes I feel like you would be better off if I disappeared, but I can't let go. That's that victim mentality talking. Um, yeah, strength. See how there's a divine feminine with a lion. So I think he kind of looks at you like you are his strength. But it's something obviously um, that he's trying to find in this space right here as well is strength. That's the Leo energy. And we've got the Capricorn with the devil. He needs your strength to pull him out of his shadow. See, the devil's all about attachments and karmic attachments at that. It's also about the shadows. Um, he wants to be encouraged, right, to come in out of this space. Um, and he wants to be also encouraged to tell the truth. He wants to be, stop hiding away. Um, he, he knows that you deserve the truth now. But he still doesn't know exactly how, the hows and um, whens, you know, um, as to when to bring it out, to bring it about. Yeah, once again, courage. He wants to be this strong knight coming in um, who's assertive and knows exactly what he wants and he goes for it. But he's not feeling that. He doesn't feel like a knight. He feels like a quivering, trembling mess right now. So it says, be courageous. The unmistakable touch of grace will follow us wherever we go. So yes, once again, he's really lost to that. I feel like usually he is a strong person. He does go for what he wants, you know. Um, but when it comes to when he goes through a cycle, because this has been something he's been in before, but maybe not as deep as this. Um, so something has triggered this within him where he's gone right deep down into this dark space right now. Um, but I think that he has to, as I said, go right down. He has to hit rock bottom. He has to sink to be able to know how to rise back up again um, and follow this light. And I think in that space he can reflect and realize that, okay, there's inner, ch inner child stuff he really does need to to uh, work on here. But see the B too? It reminds me of someone being stung. So maybe he was really stung in this connection or he stung others he's afraid of he's afraid of stinging you maybe you got really stung by him and he's really afraid to venture out because he feels so bad for hurting people and hurting you um, my love for you is as deep as the ocean he has such a strong love for you he wants to be encouraged and have the courage to come forward and tell you this truth and i see you as my future partner how beautiful is that? And miracles are now being manifested. See, there's the butterfly, guys. Oh, my God, you can't make this shit up. So this is amazing. Like, wow, miracles are now being manifested, meaning that he's going to come out from this place as the butterfly um, and embrace this flower, which would be you, Divine Feminine. 
feel like I want to cry. Oh my God. Distance. So, you know, there might be a distance between you physically right now. There's definitely, uh, like there might be an emotional distance going on, but astral wise, you are traveling towards each other in the 5D and, you know, miracles are now being manifested to close that gap. He wants to say to you, prosperity, the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. He knows that you deserve so much better than what you've received in life. Not just from him, but in life. He sees the struggles you've been undergoing. And he says, wolf pathfinder, release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. You are the wolf, divine feminine. You are strong and watching from afar as to what's going on. And you're waiting for your divine masculine. But at the same time, you also know there's pathways you need to go down right now to also strengthen your soul, the lessons you need to go through right now. You are protected on your path and the goddess of compassion. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. So I feel like you're coming into a space of compassion for your divine masculine. Um, so you recognize his suffering. And I feel like for some of you, even on the astral plane, you're coming in into the 3D of his 3D self and taking some of his pain from him because that's the love that you're sharing. Bridget, so the goddess of the eternal flame. I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. Your light is here, see? The light. You are shining your light for your divine masculine, helping him to navigate from that darkness. And he says, he says to you, your beauty cascades over me. So he really adores you. And I've prayed for you and did some magic too. So your divine masculine might be quite spiritual. He might be very in tune, like intuitively. He might be in tune with you and the connection. And he has been praying over this connection. Even if he is consciously aware or subconsciously aware, this is his 5D self talking as well. But even in his intentions about this relationship um, being healed or, you know, needing to have forgiveness in this, he's setting the intention. And you have the key, Divine Feminine. He's telling you, you have the key. Look at the lock in front of this um, jail here. See this? You have the key to unlock me out of this space. Through your compassion, I can thrive. Through you burning your light brighter and living your life and going down the path that you need to go down right now, it's going to help me to come out of this cycle I'm in. Because I feel like um, you're strong. You're strong and protected. And you are a teacher who helps others find their way. So in the, in the astral, Divine Feminine, part of your... Um, part of your mission perhaps here is to help teach others to help find, you know, to help um, them through their suffering, knowing that you have an eternal flame that burns, burns brightly um, and it's the healing light within you that's helping him to come out from this dark space right here. Um, and it doesn't mean that you necessarily have to reach out in the 3D. If you don't feel compelled to, don't have to, you don't have to. But I, I definitely feel for you guys in the 5D, you're sending light, you're sending love to your divine masculine. There's a huge compassion in you um, that is wanting to help him and guide him onto the right path here. So let's have a look. At this river stone, I want to pull out for you guys. Reading number three. So we see clarity. Clarity is going to come to your divine masculine. And we've got hope. Isn't that beautiful? So clarity is coming to him and hope. And maybe that'll be as part of the healing as well. Like um, your prayers might bring that in. Okay, so let's have a look here. Reading number three. So your divine masculine might be a builder or a tradie, 
um, or you could be, but I definitely see this as a sign that he wants to build on this with you, okay? He wants something that's solid and stable and anchored with you. Um, there might be a very strong faith. Christianity could be here. The Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, is overlooking this connection. Um, this is in line with the prayers, okay? The prayers are being heard. There's a musical connection, perhaps, between the two of you. you might, he might be sending you signs through songs or lyrics, um, but definitely shows that harmony can come into this connection as well. There is good luck in the connection, guys, Good, or it could also represent Celtic-Irish um, connections there. We have the beautiful key. So, and we've also got the letter E with this. It looks like a letter E, um, but definitely a rose C. But it's interesting how he said you have the key. So you are the key, Divine Feminine, for helping him to get through to that light. Um, we have a baby rattle here. So interesting that we see the inner child stuff with him as well. It could really um, be healing, but I wonder if he wants to have children or has a baby or children. Um with you as well but I with this I also get the birth did it say experiencing rebirth I can't remember now if this is this reading here yeah look experiencing a rebirth um it definitely feels to me like he's going to come out okay into that um out of that cocoon that he's put himself in feels like he's trapped into it though it's like maybe he's made himself so safe you know that he can't get out of it um, but it does show a rebirth here and that he will come through as like that butterfly. We've got an Aquarius energy here and it says friendly. So I feel like he really needs a good friend around him right now. Maybe you can just be a friend to him even from afar. Um, maybe that's all he can handle right now if you are in contact or just reaching out to him. However you feel that you need to do it, you'll know intuitively what you can you know what you can and can't do type thing with him but let's have a look at some letters so we've got a V and a Y a P and M a U and a, Q, a G sorry a, a G and F and E and an O Okay, so is foe like an enemy, isn't it? So it could be that there's an enemy around you both at the moment that might be that someone keeping, like, um, being in between the two of you. I think I saw that somewhere here. I've got to remember now all the messages I've read out. Yeah, mountains, see? Something or someone is standing in between us. So it could be that there's an enemy. Uh, it could be a karmic partner or something that's really coming in between the two of you. Um, that's just a significant message. Um, we've got Mo. M-O-E or M-O. Um, what else we got here? We got G-U-M. So gum. Someone might chew chewing gum. Um, we've got pug. P-U-G. Someone might own a dog or a pug dog or like pug dogs. Uh, we've got mug. M-U-G. So someone really might like their coffee or soup. Drink out of a mug. Um, what else have we got here? There's so many, but I probably can't get them all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, where have we got here? What have we got? Yeah, it's hard to find these ones for some reason. Um, where am I? Pom, P-O-M... Uh, we've got mop, M-O-P, could be a cleaner. That's all I've got really, guys. I can't really think straight if there's any more that I've... I mean, there's probably more on here, but I just can't see them right now. Uh, mop, M-O-P-E, so he's moping over you, perhaps. Uh, someone's moping over the situation. I feel like that's him. Um, but yeah, guys, if this has resonated in any way, please let me know. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's got to take some time. It's going to take some patience with this one, I think. But this is what he wanted to come through and let you know today, guys. So I really hope that's helped you and given you some clarity as to what's going on with him. And um, please 
join with me next time guys please join with me next time and don't forget to leave a green heart in the comment section below if you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or to be in the draw to win of my deck of cards divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate and i look forward to connecting with you next time guys